Hi, this is Fahad Al Thani. Please follow Sporting Icon. <laughs> Time and time again, we hear about levels in boxing, and today was no different at all. With Gavin McDonnell winning quite comfortably, if you like, over Gamal Yafai. Gamal Yafai came into this fight 14 and 0, so undefeated, and a huge future ahead of him. And I still believe that he does. But of course, Gavin McDonnell, he's been around not that long, really. Um, you know, he's 31 years old and. He has a record of 19 and 1. Oh, sorry, he's 18 and 1 like, like before this. And his only one defeat was a world title fight against Ray Vargas, where he lost by a majority decision. So, Gamal Yafai going in with Gavin McDonnell, when Gavin McDonnell has, of course, an excellent coach um, um, in uh, David Coldwell, and obviously looking to try and get back into world title contention. And by winning tonight against Gamal Yafai, and he won the WBC International Super Bantamweight title. Was it WBC? I'm sure it was. Which puts him in line for a rematch, if you like, with Ray Vargas, who is undefeated, of course, still. So, Gamal Yafai, very, very risky that he got in there with Gary McDonnell. And Gary McDonnell was by clear clear victory on this one for me um the judges it was a unanimous decision where all judges had it as um gavin mcdonald was to win and for me i believe he won that by four rounds quite comfortably maybe could have stopped gamal yafai round number 10 because from what round six round seven gamal yafai looked like he was gassing quite a lot which um you know i'm very surprised about Considering that uh, Gamal Yafai, I mean, he's 26 years old, he's undefeated, and this was a huge opportunity for him. Maybe the occasion got to him, it could be that. But, um, like I say, from round six, round seven, he looked a little bit fatigued. And round number 10, Gavin McDonald could have got Yafai out of there, or potentially anyway. And Yafai done well to hang on and survive to the end of round number 12. But either way, this will be a good learning step for him, I do expect. Gamal Yafai to go on and achieve and of course um, I'm always going to be supporting him as I do with Gavin McDonnell as well so anyway congratulations to Gavin McDonnell on a unanimous decision victory over Gamal Yafai for the rest of you of course thank you very much for listening let me know what you thought of the fight where do you think Gamal Yafai goes from here would you like to see Gavin McDonnell try and get a rematch with Ray Vargas for the title and do you think maybe now he's ready for the title, if you like? So drop your thoughts below, click that thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you next video.